are you are you impressed by the sort of the depth and the standard? Do you reckon you've got thirty Test cricketers there? We've got a very very strong group here, definitely. Uh, the standard of training has been excellent. Uh, obviously, it's taken a bit of working out with such a large group of how we've had to do things, so we've, we've split the day in two, uh, and then sort of mix the group up as we've gone along as well. So bowlers, the younger bowlers get to train with different senior bowlers, and younger batsmen get to you know what I mean train alongside the the older senior batters, and it, it's worked really well. And hopefully that experience and the youth has been crossed over and it's sort of enhanced the environment, really. But what I will say is the lads have worked very hard uh, and they've got stuck in and we've seen some very, very good cricket so far. So when you sort of start looking at what we've got beyond, obviously, the usual, um, it's exciting and the future looks good. What, what, what sort of job do you think he'll do? I think he'll do a great job. I mean, the one thing is, he's a talisman, isn't he? Uh, and he leads from the front anyway. Uh, you know, I mean, he's he's conscientious of the people that are around him as well. So I think he'll do a great job. Um, you know, what I mean, in sort of Rudy's absence, really. Do, do you, I mean, he he was telling us yesterday that he like, he's keen to have a say in selection. You know, the the the, the final eleven. Um, uh, that, that's fair enough. But, but I mean, do you think he'll be an attacking captain or a conservative captain, or, or what do you think? We'll find out, won't we? <laughs> it's uh, no, it's. It'd be interesting to see where he goes because obviously it's his first time. His first time captain in England. Uh, you know, I mean, we know he has got an aggressive nature, uh, but equally, you know, I mean, he's a good cricket brain in there as well. So I think he'll be quite thoughtful about uh, what moves he's making while he's out there as well. So I'm looking forward to working with him from a coaching point of view. I'm looking forward to working with him. Um, I will extend him the same courtesies as I do Rooty, so he will have a lot of say in what's going on as well, um, and he'll play a big part in sort of giving his opinions across the selection as well. Obviously. Will uh, Will Joe play any part over the next three days? Uh, no, he won't. Not in this three-day game, no. Uh, he will train tomorrow and then probably head up on. And so, just a couple of things. Can you explain to us what the process for him is over the next, I don't know, week or so, if he's got to isolate and things like that? And also, um, is there any concern about him not getting some time in the middle before presumably coming back into the, the second test? Uh, Joe's worked really hard with him. So from a cricket point of view, he's hit a lot of cricket balls. Uh, he's trained very hard again this morning. So he's doing everything he physically can to make sure he's in the best position. Uh, from obviously going out of the bubble to coming back in, I'm very much being led by the medical side on that. So it's probably wrong of me to, to get too involved in that conversation without having the medical side of people here with me. Uh, but they seem to be very much on top of it. Uh, so all being well, Joe will be joining us up at Manchester. Oh, Chris, I mean, it's some time ago now, but you, you have won your last three test matches. Uh, how concerned were you that the momentum built up from South Africa would be lost with the Sri Lanka tour being called off and potentially no cricket to start off? We've got some you know, great, but even so, it's all behind closed doors. Are you concerned that momentum was gained in South Africa is going to be diluted? Yeah, obviously, I was thinking about that. And yes, you know, when there's a, like I said, the enforced break between South Africa and where we are now. Uh, it'd have been nice to play that series in Sri Lanka and come out with that with more experience and, I mean, with a bit of luck, a bit more confidence in there and another win under the belt. But actually seeing how we've turned up here, actually I'm not overly concerned, to be honest. Uh, we're certainly, it's not something we're going to sit back on as, as laurels and say, well, actually, that's where we finished off. We'll just pick up from there again because it doesn't work like that. Obviously, we've got a strong opposition coming over to play against us and we've got to respect that. Uh, you know what I mean? And we have got to be at our best, really, to make sure that, you know I mean, we, we do ourselves justice when we come into this test match because there's no doubt about it, they're going to be a strong opposition. Morning, Chris. Um, so, so the teams, will, it, will they be mixed up or will they be sort of you know, the, the pretty close to the test 11 again against the rest? No, it'll be mixed up. And the captains, Ben Stokes will be one captain, I presume? Yeah, Ben will captain one side and Joss will captain the other. Uh, right. It'll be very much the mixed up side.
Oh.